we are video editing on the Microsoft Surface Pro X. We have our temporary video editing station behind us, hooked up, Surface Pro X hooked up to an external monitor, and we found some software, video editing software, that actually works with the Surface Pro X, and we are totally excited to show you the results, the unexpected results, to say the least, right? Extremely surprising yeah. results. If you are editing, video editing on your Surface Pro X, let us know in the comments below. And here my setup, Surface Pro X hooked up to an external monitor, basically just a regular HD monitor, just to have that more space in real estate. It is the eight gigabyte version of the Surface Pro X, so let's see how it holds up. I have downloaded the video editing software. I'm importing the footage now as we speak, and we'll take it from there. So what software did we find? We found Filmora 9 from Wondershare, and it is a cross-platform. That means you can use it on a Mac. It works with Windows 10, and obviously it works with the Surface Pro X. And how long did the download take? Download installation was easy peasy. First impression, it looks like similar to your professional software you would use anyway. And pricing? Pricing around 60 US dollars, although you have a subscription service available if needed. Okay, let's open up the software, video editing software. The files I have imported, they're about 30 gigabytes. And the files itself come from an unboxing we did a while ago for the Surface Laptop 3. Microsoft Surface Laptop 3 arrived on our doorstep today in platinum and 13 inches. And I just want to recreate that footage and that video and the movie we did already and put on YouTube to see how it works on this Surface Pro X. So you imported 30 gigabytes yeah. of 4K yeah. footage. I put the SD card into my USB-C dongle, plugged it into the Surface Pro X and the import time was around 15 minutes. It uh, detects the MOV files, which is good. When we had the Tab S6, uh, for example, it didn't detect the MOV files it only detected mp4 files and that is a step forward right as you've seen so far so good however i did encounter some slight playback issues to start with we tried to do a few things in order to make it better okay so the playback quality is obviously not great because it is really struggling even with the audio but it is a big clip and um but we'll see how it holds up i'm just going to start cutting okay so i'm going to do a basic cut now just to see okay you have a whole bunch of options really here as you can see you can change your white balance you can change your shadows whites blacks highlights it is obviously not as professional as your premiere pro as your final cut pro x and all these professional softwares because you have some really good tools in there okay, i'm gonna get this over to the monitor again so unfortunately the playback issues continued mm. yes so i did restart the machine I restarted the software. I tried to cut down the footage to the minimum I can have in there and the playback issue really didn't get better. I think it got worse. Our doorstep today in platinum and 13 inches. Yes. And we are really, really excited what Microsoft is doing with the Surface lineup. We used to have the Surface Book number two and the Surface Studio. So as you can see, the whole playback, it just doesn't work. There's actually not a lot I can do unless I cut blind and try to do some jump cuts in between. But I'm not sure that it's actually going to work. Did you see how the Surface Pro X struggled with the Filmora 9 software? Well, it was a 10 gigabyte file. It wasn't that big. You may be screaming, why is playback so important? But if you are are video editing you need to know that your visuals and your audio are in sync before you make that important cut i actually had to abort the whole process it was so bad the software when i downloaded it was actually really promising because the sample footage that was included in the filmora 9 software for the surface pro x worked fine i had no issues but as soon as i imported my own footage it all went pear-shaped and that is a shame so in your mind mm. is it an issue with the software is it an issue with the microsoft surface pro x or is it a compatibility issue i think it is both it is fair to say that it is not optimized for each other and i think this is the biggest issue people have with the surface pro x and that is one of the reasons why really only microsoft's own um, software works to a certain extent also and people coming out with new new software that will be optimized for the surface pro x and i hope that adobe and others really get their act together to kind of serve us right so we the people who own the service projects want to do more than just regular office based stuff although it is aimed at those people but it is a shame because at the end of the day it can be a really powerful machine 
It can be a powerful machine. It's a machine that yeah. we actually enjoy using and we are not... Very much so, <laughs> very much so. But we would like to be able to use it on the go if we need to video edit. Let us know in the comments below, would you like to video edit? Would you like to do anything else with your Surface Pro X than you do already? Are you planning to buy one? Let us know in the comments below. Jens here from Also Space. Tony the Car Geek. Peace out.